Hi, hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how can you connect your Flutter app to a Node.js backend. So I'll quickly create a new Flutter project. So you can run the command Flutter create and the uh, name of the app. So for this one, let's just go with example for now. And they should create a new Flutter project. And we can open this project using Visual Studio Code. So I'll quickly open the project in Visual Studio Code example open. Now we would see how to connect this to a Node.js backend. The first step that we need to do is open up the terminal, new terminal, uh, take this up a bit and run the command flutter pub add web underscore socket underscore channel so this should add the websocket channel uh, package to our pubspec.yaml you can also manually add it uh, by copying the latest version and pasting it there now let us return to the lib folder under main.dart and we'll make some changes to the code what i'll quickly do is uh, i'll get rid of the comments uh, i don't need them remove this home page completely instead uh, so i'll create a stateless widget a flutter stateless widget call this home screen maybe something like this copy it from here replace it here and just add those brackets and a comma now inside this home screen uh, what i need to do is i'll create like a basic ui so i'll start off with the scaffold a scaffold can have a body body would be uh, maybe some text or uh, let's just go with maybe go with the elevated button so this elevated button would have an on pressed which will keep empty for now and it will also have a child which we can just say send message all right so with this elevated button we'll also add like a text field so that we can get that message and what i can do for that is wrap with a column and add a text field okay so add a text field and copilot suggests uh, like this as the hint text so enter your message here that is cool you can add that and what i can also do is i can maybe add a controller here so controller and text controller so we haven't defined this so i can go up here uh text editing controller controller and this can't be const anymore and we have to remove const from here as well now i can use uh this text controller dot value and what i will do is i will introduce a check here so if this uh, text controller dot text dot is not empty uh, I want to like send the message so for that I can create a new function send message and pass in this uh, controller dot text value to it so this send message isn't created yet so i can come up uh, inside this home screen and type in void send message uh, print out the message for now and then clear out the controller so if i run this application quickly what should we see is let's launch this this would launch it on chrome okay we have it open here I can type in something like also have this on the side okay hello world send message and it should print it out and then also clear out the controller awesome so with that we have done like the basic UI setup uh, let us first set up uh, the node.js part so with the node.js backend so I can come back to my terminal that I have here I can leave it uh, the command that I'll run is uh, make directory 
I will make a directory called server. So this should create like a server folder here and navigate to this server and also in the same command create like a new index.js file and also npm in it. So this navigates to this server folder, creates a new index.js file and also uh, initializes npm. So we can describe version, description, entry point, uh, no git repository, no keywords, no author. Uh, I'll just go with this default and yes. So if I will also open this on VS code, I can open a new window, file open folder. This time it will be desktop server open. So you should see something like this index.js and a package.json. So while we are here on the terminal, we can also run npm install ws which is websocket and npm install express. Awesome. Now this command should take some time and once it's done uh, inside this package or JSON, you'll see like express and WS added. Let's come back to our index.js and we'll start up writing uh, some changes here. So we'll start off by creating express. We'll use this express uh, to like send something like hi there, hello, and also listen on this port. Lastly, uh, we'll use WSS new server. Awesome. So right now we aren't handling any backend data coming from the app. So we can do uh, like we can create another function like this. So when the connection is established, we can uh, type in client connected and inside this itself, ws dot on and instead use message. So message for a message, we can log that. So we'll get the message that is being sent and we'll log it. So we can run the server by typing in node index.js. Now uh, it's the server is running, listening on uh, the port. And uh, after this is running, we can come back to our Flutter project. We'll return to our send message uh, function, but first we'll import this WebSocket channel package that we had added. Uh, to our flutter project and inside this uh, send message we'll start off by creating an instance of this websocket channel so we'll use channel for that we'll create a try catch block here so we'll do this because the connection might fail so we want to also handle errors and to this channel which is the websocket channel would uh, be a connection made to the local host uh, where our node.js server is running on this 3000 port and to the channel using dot sync we'll add our message on there and we can also listen for these messages and close the channel once we are done with this done we are ready to test the application now if i refresh this application and i'm also listening here i can send message from my flutter app send message and i should get it on my server hello which means that the application and the node project are connected awesome